Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today, obviously, we're getting ready. So I started off with a base of Smashbox Studio Skin. It's not my favorite foundation. I had to mix in some No Pore Bloom Primer Essence to get it to where it will blend. <coughs> Sorry. My concealer is Tarte Shape Tape. And I set my face with the Urban Decay Velvetizer. And I'm baking with Derma Blends Loose Setting Powder. So with all that said, now you're caught up, let's get into what we're doing today. So today I'm using new products that I received in my raffle May 2020 Boxy Charm Base Box and Surprise Beautylish unboxing video. So for eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette, which if you saw that video, came with a shade Broken, that military shade right there. And I'm using the Luxie brushes that I got in my raffle win. So with that said, let's get started. I have some the Balm Priming is Everything eyeshadow primer on my eyes. And I'm going to go in with this Luxie 231. Nope, not that one. I'm going to go in with this Luxie 229 Tapered Blending Brush. It's a little bit fatter. And I still don't know where all this broken eyeshadow keeps coming from. I thought I cleaned this thing. Okay. I'm going to go into the shade Safe Word right here. And I'm just going to put that right in the crease. And blend it out. So far, I'm <clears throat> sorry, allergies have me really choked up today. Uh, so far, I'm not seeing a difference between this formula and any of my other Jeffree Star palettes. Okay, so now then I'm going to go in with this Luxie 231 Small Taper Brush. If you look at the two, this one's fluffier, this one's not. So I'm going to use this to deepen up the crease, and for deepening up the crease, we're going to go into that Broken Shade Military right there, and we're just going to deepen up our crease a little bit. Okay, so that deepened up quite nicely. And then we're going to go and do the other eye real quick. Okay, now then, I'm going to take, ah, flipping stuff here, I'm going to take this Luxie 213 Eye Shading Brush, and I'm going to go into the shade Poison right here, which is a very kind of teal green shade. Now I'm going to go back with this 229 Taper Blending Brush, ah, if I don't drop it on the floor. And then I'm going to just blend out the edges right there and just take a little bit of Safe Word and blend it out.
Not bad. Not bad. So, this is, these shadows are really pigmented. They're easy to blend, but you do have to be careful because they are so pigmented that you could just overdo it. Okay. Now then, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. The shimmers in the Jeffree Star palette are more bronze and gold. But I'm doing more of a green look, so I'm going to go into this Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette right here. I'm going to start off with this deep shimmer right here. That is what it looks like. I'm just going to tap it down here right at the edge, going into that outer corner. That's attached to me. Duck it off. Okay. Then next, I'm going to go for this kind of brownie color right here because it'll match that military green in the middle. So we're just going to do that. And for my inner corner, I'm going to go for this shade right here, which is very sparkly. my finger as you can tell my fingers are totally different color now going to need a more whitey based I'm gonna go into the Jeffree Star alien palette this is one of my favorite palettes it is super gorgeous so I'm gonna take this shade Pluto right here which is a beautiful highlighting shade I'm gonna take this Lexi 231 Small Taper Blending Brush. And I'm going to take this right here underneath the brow bone. Just like that. And then I'm going to take this Luxie 217 pencil brush and we're going to do the lower lash line but first I'm just going to take a Luxie 518 large powder brush and sweep away this bake I'm going to leave the rest of my face to bake while I finish my eye look and I'm going to go back into the androgyny palette and I'm going to go with military all across the lash line. Help if I can see. I'm just going to take that all across. Very close to the lash line. 
but completely, completely lining my lower lash line. Okay. I'm going to clean that shade off of the brush. I'm going to use the same brush to go back into the Alien palette into Pluto to do my inner corner highlight. deepen up the outside corner of the eye with this Luxie 223 short shader brush. Just a nice little smudging brush. I'm going to go back into Androgyny and I'm going to go into that poison shade which is on the outside corner. And just doing the back like third of my lower lash line. I'm just going to put that right there. right now so if you hear screaming in the background that's him so I'm gonna take this Luxie 518 large powder brush and we're just gonna dust off the rest of the bake okay now then we're gonna go into my favorite contouring palette this is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette and I'm going to go in with a Luxie 512 small contouring brush. I have one like this, but it has a multicolored handle. It's a good brush. So I'm going to go into Princess Cut right here and do my contour. Flyaways are everywhere. Oh, and now I'm throwing the brush. Okay, now we're going to go into bronzer. I'm not going to be using a new brush for this, and this is not a new bronzer. This is the e.l.f. Prime Infu Primer Infused Bronzer in Forever Sunkissed. As you can tell, it's not new. I'm going to go in with this Alomar Cosmetics Bronzer Brush. It has a really neat texture. And we're just going to bronze up the perimeter of the face. Okay. Bringing a little bit of more realness to the face. I'm just going to blend all that out, just like so, and now we're done with that. Now we're going to move on to blush for blush. This is not a new blush, but it's the Cargo Blush. This is in Laguna, and it looks like that. I'm going to use this really 
I hate this brush. This is the Cheek Blush Brush. I got this in like, I think an Ipsy. I do not like this brush at all. But, I'm just going to take and put some blush on the cheeks. Just like so. <clears throat> now into another new brush. This is the Luxe 520 Tapered Face Brush. I'm going to go into some Becca, what is this called? Soft Light Blurring Powder. Love blurring powder. It makes all of this kind of just melt together. I always do it at this time so I can tone down my blush. If I put too much on, I can tone down my contour and bronzer if it's a little too dark. And this stark whiteness right here will not be as stark. Okay. Beautiful. Now I'm going to try I'm just knocking off excess powder so my face doesn't get cakey, but I'm going to try a new product that I got in my BoxyCharm, and this is the Hourglass Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick. So this is one is in Rose Gold Flash. Let me see if this is taking off my makeup. It actually does not seem to be taking off my makeup. It's not a blinding highlight, but it's definitely there. Put some down the center of my nose. I'm going to take my Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush and blend that out. See, down the center of my nose it looks very highlighting, but on my cheek, oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Then we're just going to do purchase this for $42? Probably not, but I did get it in my BoxyCharm, so I will use it while I have it. Okay, now that we have all the powder products and all that on our face, I'm going to go in with some Max Fix, Mac Fix Plus Lavender. This just kind of gets all the powder stuck down and very nice. Now, let's move on to eyeliner. I'm going to use this Appeal Gel Eyeliner in the color Stripped. Done with eyeliner for eyebrows. I, my fallback is the e.l.f. Lifted Brow Pencil. It's a very easy, nice, cheap 
and does the job. So I'm just filling in the color of my brows. quick, easy, done brows. And for mascara, I'm trying out this Milk Makeup Oom Bang mascara. It has a very interesting wand. So that is the wand. It has like three fluffy balls on it. But this one is not waterproof so if you have watery eyes like i've been having the past several days it will transfer and it will transfer bad I know I'm all in my mirror, but I just mascara people. Mascara is on. Now, lipstick, I'm going to go with Jeffree Star. This is Baby Daddy. This is one of my, like, go-to nudes. This is the final look for the day. I'm trying to let the mascara dry down a little bit before I set my face, but let's review. So I was using new products today. I used my Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. I didn't see any problems with the shades that I used. They were very pigmented. They blended out very easily. And now I have this nice, like cool camo look going on in my eyes, which I love. It was easy to pair with the shimmers from the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette, which made this a great pair. Now then, for other products, the Hourglass Vanish Highlighting Stick is, I mean, it's okay. I can definitely see when I'm looking in my mirror, and you can probably see it right here in the screen, where you can see where the highlighter starts. That's not something I generally like, but hey, whatever. It is the only cream product that I've ever had that just didn't take my foundation off, so that's a plus. And for all of these Luxie brushes, I already knew that I liked Luxie brushes. I've received some and all that, but these are super soft and they blend out everything very well. I enjoy them quite nicely, but to be able to have the entire set to be able to use, I mean, as you can tell, I've got a couple out of there. I got a couple out of there. Just 
hit myself in the face. Got a couple out of there and a couple out of there. To be able to use the entire set of brushes and be able to do my makeup and know that they're one good, good quality, two, they wash up well. I don't have any problems out of them. I mean, I've had like this brush right here is the Luxie 680 Pro Precision Face Brush. It has this like really cool angle on it. I've had this brush for almost two years. It doesn't shed. It cleans very easily. It's still very soft. There's no frays. So they're good quality and they stand up because I wash my brushes every week. So if I use a certain brush a whole lot, it could get damaged. My favorite highlighting brush is the Luxie tapered highlighting brush number 522 this is like my absolute go-to I have two of these already and there's one in my set and I use these every single day and I have never had any problems with them fraying or not cleaning well or coming loose like this one I've probably had for as long as I've had that other brush and it's still just as sturdy as it was the day that I bought it well received it in boxy charm but with all of that said guys that's going to do it for today's video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe or ring that bell so that you're notified every single time i do an upload also check out some of these videos here so that you can see some other get ready with me use or makeup related videos Remember, leave your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of the items that I used today. And in the description box, there are three ways to support the channel. Patreon, PayPal, and Minds. Also, all of my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and my email are down there as well. There's a link for BoxyCharm. I am not an affiliate. I will only receive charms to shop in the charm room. And there is a link for Tribe Beauty. Also, I'm not affiliate, but you will receive $10 off of your first box. With all that said, guys, I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.